introduce. It's a little bit more subtle than before. Now vector field is given, defined on the whole plane. So if it is so, there's no denominator zero or square root. Everything is defined. The vector field is defined in the entire plane. Then they're saying the conservative to determine whether conservative vector field or not, you don't have to compute the gradient vector field. If just to check this cross the derivative test, you can conclude whether conservative or not without calculating the gradient vector field. That sounds really cool, right? If it is already gradient, um, let me look at one one statement. If it is a conservative vector field, if conservative. Then the other uh, one that I introduce is it must be gradient vector field, right? So phi is fx f fy, isn't that right? If it is conservative, this must be in that shape. So if it is so, this is your A and that's your B. And they ask you to test this one. So what is AY in that case? fxy, right? What is um, BX? Fyx. Anybody remember the relationship between these two things? Yeah, that should be equal if it is a nice function, right? Continuous second partial, that must be equal. So if it is conservative vector field, this interesting criteria must satisfy. It. The, 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 the hard question is that what if I'm looking at the two functions, x component, y component, that satisfy this one? Can I conclude that that's a conservative vector field? And they're saying, Yes, you can. That's enough um, criteria, sufficient criteria to be a conservative, if it is defined everywhere, right? So, so that's something we're going to practice. And this is quite easy thing to check. But I'm also giving the little name to this thing here. Um, Bx minus Ay, if it is satisfied, Bx minus Ay is exactly zero, right? So this vector, this is scalar part, vector is going to be zero. This vector is called curl of the vector field phi. Have you seen this one before? Bx minus Ay, I actually wrote it like this, Qx minus Py. Anybody remember this one? Green's theorem, that's right. This is actually the Green's theorem. The Green's theorem is actually taking that, this phenomenon in there, right? So the Green's theorem actually proves this one easily. So that's the most elegant and quickest to prove and Green's theorem is not bad in it to understand so that's the route we're going to take to understand this one. Alright? However, you can try to you know, integrate to show if it's a gradient vector field using this one is possible but it is not that clean. So people prefer Green's theorem version to take care of this one. Alright? So to show it's a conservative, you don't have to find the potential um, vector field. You only have to just check this one, right? Okay, let's try that. The next question is that this one. But one thing you have to check at this point is that is this vector field defined everywhere? You look at x component and y component. Is this defined everywhere? Denominator or it's something inside the square root? Nothing like that, right? So this for any given x and y value, this component and that component is defined, a polynomial. Nothing in the denominator. Like like this one, that's a problem, right? When x equals zero is undefined. But this one is defined everywhere. So let's not find the antiderivative. But just to show it's a conservative. So can you tell me once again how are you going to show is a conservative? Right. Try that curl condition, Ay. So and also I write down this interesting formula. You write down A and B there. So I'm going to write down for you here. 2x plus 3y cubed. And here's a 9xy squared 2y. Right? These are x and y component. And write down this curious matrix. The top row, see the operator, partial with respect to x, partial with respect to y, right? Treat it as if it is number, how are you going to compute the determinant of this one? Multiply these two, right? But what do you mean by multiplying operator to that? 
is actually the derivative. Differentiate this one with respect to x minus. Differentiate that one with respect to y. That looks a lot like a determinant, right? But these entries are in a, you know, coming from operator level. That's his curl. So that's your final exercise, number four. Is that correct? Show this is conservative. I strike this one out, indicating that you don't have to find the potential function. Piece of cake? Yeah, if you different it's zero, and the theorem allows you to. But what is the first thing you have to check before you apply this theorem? Yeah, make sure it's defined everywhere. There's no one point or entire line missing, and then you're, you're in trouble. You have a problem there, right? But you can replace to replace the whole region to the down to a smaller region where everything is defined. So if you play it in there, and it is it's still whole, so it is still very powerful theorem, right? Yeah, yeah, right. So for example, if you go there, and accept the zero, and you have to go something like this, weird. If you go to the first quadrant, it is conservative there. There will be a gradient vector field that agrees with the, exactly this component. If you go extend it to this region, you can still find it. If you go around it here, you can still find the gradient vector field. But if you go around and try to close this one like that, it's impossible. That's deep. That's really deep. This this phenomenon goes all the way down to the fury, I mean, furious activity around in 1800 to try to understand what's going on here. That, that comes to amazing depth of the mathematics. Good question. And I extend it a little bit. Um, yesterday, something called simply connected region. So, for example, this this region itself is called connected. Everywhere is kind of connected in the grid grid, um, grid region, gray region. This one is also connected. This one is also connected. You have to stay inside the gray region. You can go, you know, anywhere. If you choose any two points in the gray um, the gray region, you can get to that. You know, traveling, remaining in that. But this one is called connected, but not simply connected, because, for example, this vector field is not defined at the center point there. This is connected, but we say it's not simply connected. That means, you know, inside the outermost boundary, there is a point where the vector field is undefined. So you have to exclude that point inside. Then we say it's a, um, not simply connected. And this one in here, there's no problem. The, all the interior region we say is a connect, simply connected. This one is not simply connected. So conclusion is that if your vector field is have a curl zero on this not simply connected region, you cannot conclude it's a gradient vector field or not gradient vector field. But if your vector field is defined in here, such that interior region everything is defined, then curl zero means is a gradient vector field. Right? So let me go back in here, draw a little picture. For example, if this zero comma zero is a point where it's undefined. And then if I create a region like that, I avoided that pro um, problem spot, but everywhere else, the vector field is defined, right? Is this conservative on this vector field? Because in that region, there's no problem. Therefore, curl zero means it's conservative. It's very easy to check the curl is zero, right? So partial derivative and subtract, right? So even if this is a problem spot, even if you go around like that, before you touch it, 
if it is curl is always zero all around in here inside, that means it's a gradient vector field, right? As soon as they connect like that, then it is not gradient vector field. There is no single one that. If you try to find one gradient vector um, potential function and try to extend it, and that's possible, you try to extend it when they meet, the constant that you played with doesn't match up. From here, your constant, you played with it, and when you do the integral, you add constant. That constant from here, integral that constant, they're like 2 pi different, always. Therefore, you, ca you can't meet around there. And that's why, as soon as you connect it, and there's a continuity, it breaks down. Strange thing. So I stated here, summarize it in a simpler way, not simply connected thing or anything like that. Just if it is curl is zero, everywhere is defined, grade and vector field, but curl being zero itself is not sufficient to conclude that.